What's up, everybody? Canuck here, and time for something we have not done in a long time. It's time for a critique. Uh, my members have been waiting very patiently for their critiques as I've been uh, busy with Dream Team and other stuff and burnout and all that. So, uh, But I'm back, and I'm looking forward to doing some of these critiques for these very patient people. Uh, we're going to start off with a beta. And this beta is going to be called Round Hill Ranch. This is from Noah Shreve, one of my hardcore design members. I believe I have critiqued a course of his before already. So I appreciate the continued support, Noah, as he's got another course for me to take a look at. So let's jump in. Get going. Good to be back with these. Definitely good to be back. Okay. We're off. All right, so T-Shot, T-Shot looking really good. Um, maybe a little flat in here. A little flat and a little dark. When you really cluster in the planting, it kind of looks, it looks really, really dark. Um, I would like to just kind of mix that planting up with maybe a few more things. Right now it's just kind of bushes. Um, it doesn't look super natural. For me uh, lots of grass on the left and right yeah that's just kind of a thin layer all right so aesthetically looks pretty good i like this first tee shot bit narrow a little fast a little bit fast so we're into no we're not in the bunker bunker's looking pretty good all right, second shot here. I like these three bunkers protecting the front of the green. Um, hmm. Just thinking, could you have maybe? No, probably not. Never mind. That looks pretty good. All right, we're up and away here. Eh, not great. Not great. Chip it on. These greens look pretty good. Well, this green does. All right. In for par. So we're heading to the second. A very nice little gradual uphill par three. I like this. Um... I don't know about this symmetrical kind of four-corner bunkering. I don't know if I'm totally in love with that. Um, I do like how you've kind of made the green, you know, kind of fade off here. So if we are right of the pin, we're going to have one heck of a putt, especially with this pin. That is a very tucked right at the back pin. It's not too bad, though. Um, I don't know. I might even go without the bunkers at the back, to be honest. Maybe have like a little uh, fairway at the back, maybe a little runoff area. I don't know. Your call. We're up and away. Not bad. Not bad. How's that looking? All right. And we are in. Par par start. Third hole, short little par five. Now, I just... I'm good with water tables. I think it just looks a little bit weird having this water table. Right here, up above where I'm playing right now. It, it just, it, not, I guess it's not bad. Kind of bothers me. Okay, narrow little R4 here, R5. Okay, this, we got a split fairway? Oh, I see, we're sharing tee boxes with, uh, It looks like that there's tee boxes on the fairway. 
Now, I'm noticing a lot of people are doing this with shared, like using fairway, like similar fairways to come back, but I just, that, not much of that exists in real life. Like, if that were to exist in real life, people having to tee off on those tees there would just have to wait for the people to play through here. So, I mean, it's a video game. Who cares? If you really don't care, it's not a big deal. But it's just awkward, I think. And that's one of the more awkward examples I've seen, to be honest. I really don't like that. Boy, I'm cranky today. Cool course. I like the I like the look of it for sure. Okay. See if we can get down here. Now that wall is okay. There's a few rough edges there from what I saw. Pretty close to the green, but nothing too awful. Okay, nothing but bars here. Okay, so this is the next hole. Yeah, and then we've got that. This is the first green here. So there's tight routing, and then I think routing can get too tight. I think this is too tight. I think this fairway bunker next to this other. Yeah, it's, I think that's a bit tight for me anyway. I mean, I realize that would be sure to fix, but. No, I don't love that. I don't love that look. But some people might. Okay. Okay, so we've used the kind of... We use there. Bridge, maybe? Sure. But we've used something to help kind of fix that retaining wall issue. And it's not great. I won't, I won't lie. Uh, these real this looks really messy, and it's something that's hard. it looks better over here. But yeah, ugh. at this point, you ask yourself, do you need that retaining wall? I mean, I guess it would make sense for real life, but it's okay. It's okay. Gotta get it here. Oh, oh, ruler, putt, putt, idea. All for a good putt, putt course. All right. Par. Okay, fifth hole, par three. I like the look. I don't like this bridge here. A little too straight. It blocks the view of the green, I think. I think a curved bridge would look pretty cool here. Maybe coming in this way. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like you're just you're cutting off the sight line with this bunker. Or not bunker. <laughs> bridge. Okay. That's it. Good little bounce there. Live with that. Boom. There's a nice birdie putt. Okay. On to the six. Now, what do I like about the six? I like kind of blind tee shot here. Again, very tight routing. An awkward tee shot, I won't lie. But it's kind of forcing you to play a little fade. I don't mind that. It's tight, though. I mean, I guess I can try to hit off the hill here. It's a tough drive no matter what. You're not really giving me a bailout. And this is tough. With a wind? Any more than, like, a 10-mile-an-hour wind? That's This is a nightmare. I'm in a 5-mile-an-hour wind, and I can't figure out how to hit this. I guess I'd have to play in the rough and let it funnel down. And there's just a lottery to see if it hits the fairway or not. Well, I don't know. I'm sure if I love that. I 
to sit. Oh, baby. Okay. Okay, green's not bad there. A little wonky, that break, but that's just where I was. In for the par. Another par three here. We'll a real short one. Okay. It's tough to do these little micro par threes to make them interesting. I mean, I see what you've done here. Um, I mean, I don't know why the bridge. I kind of get how you're making it so we need it. You're kind of putting these hills up, making kind of tough to traverse, but I guess this is a bridge for enough. I don't know why this bridge is here. It just seems out of place for me. Maybe I'm missing the point on that one, but... I, I guess you just... You hit your shot here, and you're going back this way, and then you take the bridge over. I think you, it's just... This is another... example of routing that's, I think, just too tight. I think it's just too tight. And I mean, you're almost on the fairway there. I, I, I honestly think you know routing can be too tight. This is an example for me. I just like if you this course was in real life, you'd be you'd need a hard hat. That balls are coming at you everywhere. That being said, it's a nice course. You like it. Uh, it's got some good ideas. This is a nice drive. I mean, I can see the point of the bridge, but I could also just like walk on the fairway and walk around. It's just kind of needless. I really like that bunker up in front of the green. I think you've done a nice job with that one. Ah, terrible swing. Get a kick. Oh, we got a kick. Perfect. That's what I meant to do. I really like that big bunker there. I think it's a bit out of place, though. Just, just, I would love to have seen more like that. We got a little double green here. Yeah, okay. I mean, I kind of feel like the designer's trying all the, the trendy things right now in design, and I don't know if we're doing them particularly that well. I mean, I guess this is an okay double green. I don't like the... I'm going to end up at the beer it's the valley thing here. Oh boy. You know, the super tight routing, but I think it's just too tight. A little so much going on here. Just take a step back and focus on a couple things. Okay, in for par. Head to the ninth. Sorry about the mouse in the way all the time. We're going back this way. Shots all right. Maybe a little flat. I don't mind it. That's a good tee shot. Not a good executed tee shot. That's probably in that bunker. Oh, just got it open. Okay. I'm okay with this. Double dog leg here. Back, not getting in here in two. I like this idea. House out there. Okay. Nice little shot there. A clubhouse there in the middle, I'd say. You know, I'm, I'd be, I'm the last to critique a clubhouse, but maybe looking a little plain there. Not a lot to write home about on that clubhouse. All right, we're in for three under on the front. We head on over to the back. You know, again, another kind of gully here. I, I see what you're doing. I just, it doesn't seem to fit. Okay, uh, I'm going to try to hit driver. There hasn't been a real wow tee shot yet. They're just like, they're good. 
This bunker needs work. Here. Looks like a Canuck bunker. <laughs> My bunkers are. Even I know that's not a great bunker there. Uh, what are we getting? Itch, I guess. Itch. Awkward distance. I do like the smaller, relatively smaller greens here. I think you've done a good job with them. Some of the breaks are a little... Oh, I don't love them. Okay. Heading to 11. Okay, uphill par 3. We've got a little waterfall. Of course we do. One loves a good waterfall. Like this one. Kind of moving its way uphill. Terrible swing. My god. Just a terrible swing. Way over in the junk here. Back it out. I like where it's sitting. This 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 uh this green. No, he, the routing in it's tight, but it, it, he's done a good job of kind of interspersing the nines, as I remember that hole. I think another one. I don't know. But anyway, you can see, the course feel has a realistic feel to it in terms of its routing looks. I just think it's like I said. I think it's still a bit tight in there in places, not overall, but places. A yeah, little downhill three. I like how this green's perched up a bit. Nothing too wild. We don't want to be short. That is for sure. Gotta sit. Okay. Big break, big break, big break, big break. I don't mind this par 3. Good little par 3. No huge notes on that one. In the long par 5 over the creek. Ooh, okay. All of a sudden we've got like a shared fairway. Okay, this is with that double green. I see. Okay. Have a neat idea there. Okay. Seventy-four. Go up the hill. I like the second shot in. Nice hole here. I mean, lighting is nice in your face. Definitely helps. Ugh. Up and down here for birdie. Okay. I like that long par four. I think the river kind of reversed it pretty good. Oh, now but you've got two of them in a row. And this one you're forced, kind of forcing a layup. And that t shirt again, you've got. I don't know. Those are too close, I think, for the next hole. So, I mean, you're forcing me to hit a three wood on a 500 yard par four in any kind of dormant wind. Don't love that. I've got 250 in to a par four. Uh, I think this hole needs a rethink. I think that this lake needs to be, or river, or whatever this is, this needs to be smaller i mean that's kind of crazy i don't i don't i don't like that yes in a tailwind it's fine and maybe you know in a neutral wind it, you might clear it but definitely not for tailwind this hole would be an absolute chore We made par, but my goodness. I'm hitting 250 into a par 4 on a second shot. 
Mm. No. Okay. I don't... I'd lower this a little bit. I can see this bunker a bit more. It looks like you have the real estate to do it. Uh, yeah. Swing is terrible. Alright, into the rough. To hack it out. It's another long par 4. It's... Good ball. Okay. No, we just miss it. Okay, our first bogey of the day. That's not too bad. We head into our final three holes here at the Round Hill Ranch Beta. I definitely think there's some things that need to be changed here. Um. Just I don't know why we need this waterfall. I mean, I guess it's neat. For me, it's adding zero to the experience. You, can, I have barely seen it, and then here it's just... I don't love it. I would have gone with maybe a, a more of a subtle freak raging waterfall there oh boy <laughs> what are we doing here okay that's awful i hit this well i would say this other than the waterfall this is a fairly well designed hole played very poorly And there is a putt to save our par. Back-to-back -back par five finishers. I don't love that. That's a personal thing, but I don't love back-to-back -back fives. That's okay. I have found a fairway. Oh, here's the waterfall. Does it add anything? I don't know. It's okay, I guess. It's okay. Terrible swing. Yikes. Okay. Got to get up and down here. Rest of the hole, I don't mind. Just this raging Watt River seems really out of place for this course. Oh. <laughs> So close. All right. Another shorter par five. We're making our way down. I'm okay with this tee shot kind of being tightened by these bunkers here. Ooh, that's not the line I wanted. Okay. So again, with this kind of natural supposed to be natural just find it doesn't fit the course at all there's a few things here that i just i'm, I'm a little head scratching my head about in terms of how it fits into the aesthetic of the course i feel like this is much more of a traditional course i feel like you're forcing a few elements in here this is a tough pin sitting right on a ridge here i would move that pin over a bit play the left Ooh, finish off with a... Oh, almost. I went for par. And that's it. This is the Round Hill Ranch Beta. I think we need some work on a few things. Um, I think in general, I just feel the routing's a little bit too tight. Uh, a few aesthetic decisions I don't love. I feel like they're not really fitting into the feel of the course. Um, I'd rethink some of those water features, like that, that raging river near the end of the seemed way out of place um 
But some good things happening here too. I overall didn't mind the hole designs. That one hole, that long par five needs to be fixed, I feel. Just a few head scratcher ideas there, but for the most part, I think it's a pretty good course. So um yeah, I look forward to seeing if he does choose to fix it up, what he ends up doing with it. And uh yeah, we'll look forward to playing it in the future. So thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next time.